Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. Folks, I'm gonna make you a little side dish or you can even use this as an appetizer. I'm calling it crispy Brussels sprouts. And folks, this is gonna be something that you really wanna check out. It's elegant and very tasty. All right, folks, let me show you what I'm doing. I got a sheet pan here and I've got this mat in here. Uh, if you don't have the mat, just put some uh, nonstick spray down there. I've washed and rinsed these Brussels sprouts. All I'm doing is cutting the end of it off, the little root end getting any of those little leaves that fall off off of there. And I'm cutting this baby in half, sticking it on the pan. That's all we got going on right now. I'm gonna bake these in the oven, so go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. We'll meet y'all back here shortly. Next step is to get you some olive oil and just coat your Brussels sprouts with olive oil real good. Like that. Hit them with some salt and pepper. And stick these in the oven until the Brussels sprouts are tender with a fork and start to turn kind of golden brown on the edges. While the Brussels sprouts are in the oven back here behind me, they're going to go about 25 or 30 minutes or so, I'm going to show you how to make a balsamic gastrique to go with them. Don't let that name scare you though. Gastrique is simply a French term that's like a sweet and sour sauce, okay? I'll show you how easy it is to whip one together. Let me bring you down here and show you what we're going to do. All right, you're going to need a good heavy uh, pan to do this with. Uh, cast iron work great, but I've got this uh, stainless steel one. Anyway, put it over a nice medium high heat or high heat. You're going to go in with some water. Go in with some sugar. Go in with some balsamic vinegar. And you can use any balsamic vinegar. I'm using this one. This is a uh, black cherry balsamic vinegar, but just ordinary balsamic vinegar would work. Gonna go in with a little bit of bourbon whiskey here. This is what I'm using right here. I got this Woodford Reserve right here. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, you wanna try to whisk, whisk all this together and get that sugar dissolved in there real quick. And once your sugar's all dissolved in there, what you wanna do is Add in some heat. I've got some red chilies here. Just a couple of those going in. And I'm just using these whole red chilies. And you can leave that out if you want. You can leave out the whiskey if you want as well. I forgot to mention that. Now I've got some goji berries here. These are uh, actually dried goji berries and I soaked them in water to make them plump up for about an hour or so. I soaked them in water. We're going to go in with some goji berries. And this, uh, you can add any fruit that you want. Uh, I'm adding some apple and some goji berries. This is my apple right here going in. And it is peeled. But you can go in with any kind of a fruit that you want. Strawberries, blueberries, uh, orange would work really well. Mango. And as for the uh, sugar, I'm just using plain white sugar, but you are also welcome to use um, some, let me get you up here. You can also use like some agave nectar or some honey would work real well. You can use, um, maple syrup and for the uh, for the vinegar aspect uh, again I'm using balsamic vinegar you can use white vinegar red wine vinegar uh, apple cider vinegar options are endless you can even throw you some herbs in here if you want kind of hit help it uh, get a little bit more flavor but I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna let this go uh, again uh, bring it up to a boil keep the lid off of it but bring it up to a boil when it starts boiling turn it down to a simmer let it simmer for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. That's gonna soften that fruit up and uh, it's, it's gonna infuse this gastrique with the, uh, the different goji and apple flavors in there uh, and add a little bit of heat from the red chili. So we'll bring you back here in a little bit and by that time, the Brussels sprouts should be ready. So we'll catch y'all back here very shortly. All right, Brussels sprouts just came out of the oven. They're looking mighty fine. And as you can see, they're just fork tender. I'm gonna let these babies cool off for a good 10 minutes or so while the while the gastrique is going. We'll be right back. All right, gang, this has been going about 30 minutes and that was long enough to get the uh, the fruit mushy. I mean, it's still holding together pretty good, but it's it's got a little, I mean, if you press it against the wall, it's gonna smash, you know? So the fruit's done and it's uh, reduced enough. So I think that's pretty good. Let me go ahead and get a little taste here. That's actually really good right there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in just a little touch of pepper right here at the very end. I'm gonna season it up with a little salt and pepper. 
I don't think it needs much salt at all because I'm fixing to add some cheese to it here too. Yeah, there you go. You can see how thick this is. This is, uh, it's kind of like warm maple syrup, if that makes sense, okay? Now, of course my Brussels sprouts have cooled off. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these in. So, stir in and coat all your Brussels sprouts. All right guys, you can see us. I just pulled off the stove, but it tightens up pretty doggone quick. See that? Now, what I did do just before I turned the camera on, I forgot to actually turn the camera on. I've got some candied cashews right here. So I'll go ahead and throw in these candied cashews. Just kind of coat them just slightly. All right, and then we're gonna plate this up. There we go. Just put all these down in there, just like so. And like I said, this can be a side dish, that could be an appetizer. This is probably enough for, I don't know, four people or so right here. At the very end, what you wanna do, get you a little bit of bacon. I went ahead and baked off some bacon earlier. Put a little bit of bacon on there. Bacon and Brussels sprouts. Man, if you haven't tried that yet, that is a fantastic combination. Gruyere cheese, shred it up. Throw that on there at the very end here. And that is gonna to be topping off this fantastic Fantastic crispy Brussels sprouts. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's give us a try right here. Tell you, I'm gonna give me a little bit of the candied, candied cashews, a little cheese. Try to get me a little bit of that bacon on there. Oh, yeah, down the hatch, man. Mmm. Oh, man. Everything works off of each other very, very well. All the different ingredients. Definitely layers of flavor in this dish. My gosh, that's, that's excellent. Hope y'all give this a try, man. I really, really do. This is really good. Check out the description box. Just hit show more below the video for the recipe. If y'all like this, y'all give me some thumbs up. Hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends, T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody. See y'all next Tuesday.